Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. And today, in this video, I want to show you my magic drawing tool that I've been using over the past one year. And it is the, uh, the Sailor Few Day Fountain Pen. So when you're searching for the Sailor's Few Day Fountain Pen online, you probably will find two kinds, okay? So one kind is this, um, this one with the uh, deep indigo case, okay? Yeah, so this is the Amazon Canada page that's showing the Sailor's Few Day Fountain Pen, uh, the navy blue color specifically. And the angle of the bent nib is actually 40 degrees. Okay, but it looks like 45 degrees um, in real life. And the other one, the other kind of few day fountain pen from Sailors you'll find is this bamboo green one, okay? So the other Sailors few day fountain pen that you will find on Amazon is this uh, bamboo green color, 55 degree bent nib. So the, uh, I think the only difference, the, the only functional difference between these two Sailor's Few Day Fountain Pens is the angle of the bent nib. Okay, so I want to try this out today um, in this video to show you the differences between the line qualities of, of the same brand of fountain pen. Okay, so the ink that you're using in your fountain pens, whatever brand you're using, is very, very important. Okay, so first of all, if you want to work with watercolors, you have to make sure that the ink is waterproof okay or close to 100 percent waterproof um so the uh the ink that i've been using over the past nine months is it's a noodler's brand and specifically the color you do is meowing <laughs> the color name is uh brown number 41. there are three ons of ink uh in this bottle and it's pretty much um, close to 100% waterproof if you wait for your drying to dry for like 15 minutes. So here's the bottle. And um, it costs about like 25 to 30 Canadian dollars on Amazon. So for some reason, Amazon Canada here, um, I think it raised the price of this Noodler's ink to like $44. I think it's too expensive. I think it's better to wait for the price to lower down to about $25 to $30. Or you might be able to find this uh, ink at your local art supply store in person. You will also need an ink converter. And I think they raised the price of the ink converter from $7 to almost $13 right now. Wow. Maybe pro probably because it's getting really popular. A lot of people are buying it these days. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up the brand new bamboo colored Sailor's Few Day Fountain Pen, 55 degree bent nib. Now these two are buddies right now. Now I'm gonna open the ink converter. Let me show you how it works when I get. So here is the little ink converter. So I'm gonna show you how to put it on. It's very easy. So you just twist open the pen. This is the cap. I'm gonna twist open the body part. Oh, it's actually, it does have, oh, two ink cartridges. Very nice, but I think these two are not waterproof ink, okay? So here you go. So all you need is this nib part, okay? The nib part, the black twisting thing in the end of the converter where you can control the pump. And you're gonna put this end on, okay? The transparent plastic part onto the end of the nib head right over here. You need to give it a push so it's tightly attached to the nib head. I think now it's ready to drink some ink from Noodler's ink bottle. Open this up. Okay. Yeah, and this, this bottle of ink it lasts for a pretty long time. It's been nine months already. And it's only about, um, let's say, 25%, like a quarter gone. It might take me two years to finish using this whole uh, three ounce bottle of ink. So it lasts for a long time. Now let's give it a go. Ready? So make sure this pump head is all the way down. Okay? All the way down. And then you're going to dip your fountain pen 
90 degrees into, make sure it's into the liquid ink, okay? Yeah, like that. And then you're gonna start to twist. Then it's gonna draw up ink from the bottle. There you go. And I just grabbed um, a piece of tissue paper to wipe the nib. So this is the way that you charge a fountain pen using an ink converter. Again, always make sure the converter is nice and tight to the head of your fountain pen nib. Install the bamboo green body. And I'm gonna just put on the cap and twist it nice and tight. All right, so now I'm gonna test out uh, the brand new Sailor's Few Day Fountain Pen in bamboo green color. I'm gonna put it in front of me right over here. This is the very end of my current sketchbook. I'm gonna do it on the very, very last page here in the back. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you the basic functions of a Few Day Fountain Pen. Starting with a 55 degree bent nib. If you hold this pen in 45 degrees to the paper, you're gonna get um, pretty thick lines. Yeah, I think these lines are thicker compared to the other fountain pen held in the same angle. If you hold this pen that you can see right now, perpendicular or 90 degrees to the paper, you get very thin lines, much thinner lines. Yeah, so the first set of lines I made uh, was done by holding the pen in 45 degree angle. Yeah, about 45 degree angle to the paper. And the second set of very thin lines was done by holding the pen very much perfectly 90 degrees to the paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to hold this pen at a very low degree, like 30 degrees. I get an even thicker and darker and juicier line compared to the 45 degree angle. Yeah, 30 degrees to paper. And now I wanna do some free form. So keep changing uh, the angle of my hand holding the pen. Yeah, making these two kinds of lines. So just uneven degree and hand pressure holding the same pen. Yeah, it's fun. I love the uh, juicy organic lines with a bit of change. Now I'm gonna continue finishing the uh, contour outline of the pack of hazelnuts. As you can see for this uh, contour outline of the object, I use uh, like 45 to 30 degree angle holding the pen. Now for the inner details, the lines are very, very thin. Um, I'm holding the pen pretty much like perpendicular to the paper to be able to get these thin lines. So basically using uh, a few day fountain pen, it's actually not difficult. It really depends on how thick or how thin you want the lines to be. You just have to be aware of the angle that you're holding the pen, okay? Yeah. Now I'm gonna have fun drawing the hazelnut kernels inside the package through this uh, oval window here. So at this part, I'm actually using um, uneven degrees holding the pen not always at 45 or 90 or 30. So yeah, just, just play and uh, just relax my wrist and just let the pen to dance at uh, various angles uh, on the paper. Yeah, so the lines, the contour outlines of these hazelnuts are very organic and not too static. Yeah, and that's very much it. All the details, final polish. So uh, overall, so far, I found out that um, this pen uh, was 55 degree bent nib. It has more line variety compared to the other one, which had a 40 degree bent nib. So yeah, it's pretty fun to work with this one so far. I just give it a little platform on the bottom. Now I'm ready to paint watercolors. So as usual, just wetting the whole area with clear water, starting with the, uh, the lightest color, which is yellow, and then uh, yellow, orange, red, orange for the banner here in the middle. This is actually more of a yellow, orange with a little bit of lemon yellow mixed into the orange. And then wet onto wet, a red, orange with a little bit of red mixed into uh, the pure orange for a bit of contrast and value transition because um, an orange object, depending on the lighting condition, is never perfectly 
an even or single value of orange. So、uh, the area is getting more light. They will have a more yellow orange tone, and the other areas、um, not really exposed to the light will look more like red orange or even a shaded orange color.、Uh, same for the red stripes on the top and bottom. I'm also seeing some white perfect highlights of the plastic package, so just leaving those white highlights perfect white. Now, wetting the hazelnut area with a super diluted yellow ochre to start with. Yellow ochre mixed with with, with a bit of、uh, orange and a little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, now starting with this layer, it's very much the same color but containing less water. In other words, more concentrated paint. And also, I think it has a higher ratio of burnt sienna as well for the membranes of the、uh, hazelnut, and just gets less and less watery as we are layering the paint. Okay, that's it for the colorful areas. Just adding these coat colors on the logo, and now it's time to shade the white package with light gray. As you can see, I like to mix my own gray with、uh, blue, green, and a little bit leftover purple, diluted with a lot of water, so the shade is not way too intense. Yeah, a little bit here and there. Most of the shaded area is on the left side, because the window is on the right side. And then quickly adding the thin brushstrokes of the、uh, graphics on the white package area, shadow, reflective color first, and then some leftover. Violet kind of gray, two layers for the contrast and transition, and that's it. Here is a look of my finished sketch. Took me about fifteen minutes to draw and paint at the、uh, dining table. Okay, so now I'm gonna try out、uh, sketching the simple orange and apple with my old、uh, sailor's fountain pen. Okay, let's see the difference between、uh, these two sketches. The pack of hazelnuts and the fruits. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the same angles, holding this other pen here, 45 degrees. I get actually much thinner line compared to the bamboo color one. 90 degrees, actually about the same、uh, thin lines. No huge difference now. 30 degrees,、uh, thick, but not as thick as the bamboo green one. Okay, so that's the differences, and just random organic lines、uh, made with uneven degree and hand pressure.、Uh, the bamboo colored one is more interesting when holding it at uneven degrees. Now I'm drawing the contour outline of the orange, the stem, and the wrinkles around、uh, the stem, and the little pores using dots accentuate the contour outline a little bit. So now I am giving you an objective view of how these two fuse fountain pens work. So you may like、uh, the bamboo green one better, or you, or you may like uh, this uh, dark indigo one with thinner lines better. So I think our taste and feel of aesthetics、um, is different from each other. So really, depending on your taste, you may like one or the other one better. Now, just painting with、uh, a light yellow green first for the apple, a bit of diluted magenta, yellow orange for the first layer of the orange, a more intense red magenta for these little patches on the apple. Just having fun playing wet into wet, a more intense red orange for the left side of of the orange because the window is on the right. Left side is more shaded. And apparently, this very last page of the、uh, sketchbook is not working that well. The paper is a little waxy with some、uh, some sprays of wax on it. So watercolor is not working perfectly on this very last page. It happens to some sketchbooks that I've been using over the years. Anyway, so here's the look of my finished sketches. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.